Hey there, and welcome back to Factorio Tightening the Belt Mega Base Guide. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me again. Uh, we have finally finished hooking up all the circuits, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a little bit wonky here and there, but it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would be. Uh, so here is what it looks like. I actually think it looks pretty cool. Now, there's something to be said, of course, for, you know, like all perfectly straight belts and then, uh, you know, going from here to here, so on and so forth. I think this looks pretty cool too though. We have like kind of a uh, like diamond here, uh, not quite because the diamond uh, would be uh, pointy on the top, but uh, you know, part of a diamond here and then we have uh, you know these lines that it, this is mostly symmetrical in regards to there being the amount of lines up here as there are down here and then same here and here. Uh, so it looks really nice on the map. It actually doesn't look <laughs> this good. Uh, when we actually go over here uh, and but other than that everything worked out fairly decently they don't we just had to do a little teeny uh work like change a few things on these last ones which you can't even tell on the map uh but that's that's what it is hooked in there and uh, i'm gonna go over there and show you now uh first of all i want to take some landfill because we're gonna need to do a little bit of landfilling i want to finish placing the smelters uh for iron and then try to get some steel ones down too depending how much landfilling we actually need to do uh, so let's go ahead and run down here. I'll kind of show you. These smelters here are the remaining copper smelters that for the copper for the main bus. Uh, but here we go. So these are copper. These come down, uh, and I kind of have them in sets of eight. So what we had to do, this is what I was talking about, is we had to do these little squigglies here and here to actually fit things in. Um, but everything routes where it needs to, uh, mostly, which is fantastic. And, well, I say mostly because I thought I made a mistake, but I actually didn't, I don't think. No, the squigglies are just confusing me. So this one's copper, this one's copper, uh, and then these eight are also copper, uh, as well as these eight, I think. Or no, some of these are iron. Uh, I can't even tell. Well, well, I mean, once we hook it up, we'll be able to tell. But so then these ones are iron, these are iron, uh, but mostly the ones going up are iron, and the ones going down are copper. So then this is iron and this is iron as well, uh, which is kind of how that's working. So everything is hooked in here, uh, 16 builds, which will be 32 lanes of circuits out. Uh, and then for the rest of the iron that we need for the bus, uh, we need seven more smelters. We need like 13 lines, uh, but obviously each smelter does two lines. I could only hook up one, so you know we could do it that way, but we need seven more smelters pretty much because six would obviously be not enough since that would be 12 lines. Uh, so I bring the landfill because we have this water here. I'm hoping that won't be too much in the way of steel. I'm also, depending on how long steel is, it may actually hit this water. We'll have to see. Uh, but we're going to, so we need to place down seven more of these. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that should theoretically be all the smelters we need uh, for iron and copper. And then obviously steel is going to be a beast. This thing's going to be a little bit ridiculous uh, in terms of getting this thing down. I, for all, I, it's really long. I don't think it should hit this water, but we'll have to see. Uh, and then red circuits are going to go, I think, in front of the greens here. And uh, blues are going to go after that. And then uh, a lot of these greens are going to go to blue. So we'll just kind of run them like past the red circuits into the blue circuits is kind of what I'm envisioning. So we're going to make our brush size huge here because luckily we don't have to worry about like the super efficient landfill, you know, doing one at a time type of deal like we used to have to do. Um, and I'm going to try like not to do just straight lines because, you know, I don't really like how that looks. I just want to make sure I have enough room here. Uh, there's also some water down here we need to fill in. I'm not sure I actually have enough landfill on me to do all this. Probably not. And it's really annoying. I, like, missed some of them. Uh, okay, we need to go. Man, this base. You're in the way, guys. Sorry. Gotta go. Hey, that's some nice oil over there. Gotta get... Oh, man. Made him mad. This is a decent-looking oil patch, actually. And I was thinking I'd kind of forgotten... <laughs> <laughs> like what we're gonna do in terms of oil because uh, we need a pretty huge oil base to support all this and I'm not wow 13,000% that's really good 
I'm not really sure where we want to do it uh, because obviously red stroke is going to need plastic. Uh, and, and then we need to do batteries as well, obviously. So we could do it like somewhere over here. It needs to obviously be by water or it could go over here. It depends how long the steel is. And we need, uh, let me, I did check, but I just forgot already. Uh, we need, I think it's like, we need seven belts of steel. 7.1, which is a really annoying amount because I almost have to do eight smelters to like. Because, you know, if it's 7.1, it's just, you know, it's just 0 0.1, but if I only do seven smelters, it's going to be off, and then it's going to throw everything else off. So I almost need to do eight smelters. Um, and eight lines is a lot easier for, like, any balancing and stuff I want to do anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and... This is, is going to be interesting. I'm not sure... I'm really not sure how long this actually is or not. Uh, we need to, we should actually probably do some exploring and see if this, like, just see like what's over here because we haven't even explored this yet. I do want to line it on this uh, on this input side. I do want to line it up with the iron, and we also will need to landfill a bit more here uh, just to get some belts by and stuff and maybe trains, but that doesn't need to be done right now. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the progress. Having circuits all hooked up is pretty big and then red circuits and then blue circuits. The red circuit build's already done like I showed you last episode. We just need to do a blue circuit build, which shouldn't be too difficult. The uh, nice thing about blue circuits is while they're expensive, they're very simple, right? It's uh, it's not not too difficult to do those. It's the it's things with like tons of ingredients that become a bit of a problem. Uh, like red circuits, you know, those require three ingredients, and uh, when you're working with belts and beacons and stuff, that definitely gets a bit more complicated. Uh, I feel like our our steel is actually probably going to hit this water, in all honesty. Uh, it's a ridiculously huge build. And you guys did say in the last episode, like, you know, couldn't we cut it in like thirds or fourths and then kind of and stack them and then like wrap the belts around? Um, that's definitely possible, and we may need to do that. But if we do have room, I don't mind it being a huge, like a really long build. You know, I mean, it doesn't hurt anything aside from running out of room. So it just really comes down to that. And we're about to find out if that's going to be the case or not. I hope not, because I don't really want to mess around with the build. But uh, I had steel. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a command again, because I can't see a dang thing. <laughs> Wow, this thing is huge. I think we are actually are probably going to hit that. Um, I just need to zoom out. This is one thing, and I don't and I don't know how they would change this, but like one thing that's really kind of frustrating is when you have a blueprint that's bigger than like the size of your screen. Um, it when you go to place a blueprint, it's kind of like I don't want to say it's centered on you, but like you know, if I were to zoom into normal length or to normal view distance, I wouldn't actually be able to see the front of this because of how how the viewing works. So that is something that's kind of frustrating because if you're trying to place a blueprint that's, you know, big, and in fact, we can actually share beacons here, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. And of course, there my bots go. My main thing is to see if we're actually hitting the water here. I, I think I need to step back, though. My poor bots. Wow, the belts look really wonky. <laughs> at that zoom level uh let's go ahead and just let these guys come back so it does use a bit a mix of red and blue belt which is kind of interesting uh come on dudes get your butts back in all right uh let's just see where this thing actually ends it's ridiculous It just keeps going, man. It just never ends. Wow, okay, so it did in fact hit the water and far beyond, holy crap. So this goes to here. Um, we're obviously gonna have to replace that. That is the steel build, guys. <laughs> I could stack it. If I cut it in like force, I could then pull all the four lines out and do like a four lane balancer. But it's fine because reds are going to take room and then blues are going to take room and then the steel can kind of just come out like along the blues 
which of course at this point is going to be like way out here, which is kind of unfortunate because we could have started our bus back here. So I'm not entirely, like even if the steel weren't this long, with the reds and blues in here, I mean, it's going to start at least like here-ish or something. Which doesn't give us all that much room. I like it to have started back here. Which, I mean, the only option is to like reverse the output somehow of the builds and then have them spit back out like towards the input so they can start sooner. Uh, I mean, I suppose that's a possibility. Uh, we'll have to see. So, yeah, I am actually somewhat tempted. I am somewhat tempted to uh, huh, cut this into like force or something because this is somewhat ridiculous. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, that was the wrong key. Let's go ahead and zoom back out. And let's go ahead and place this guy again. There we go. Okay, so this is like, this is how long this thing's gonna be. And we need eight of these. So that means we're gonna have to landfill pretty much all of this. If we do it this way. Now I'm not sure what's down here. If we stack it, if we like cut it in thirds or fourths and stack it, it's gonna be super far this way. Yeah, I'm not really sure, actually. I'm not sure. I mean, steel. Okay, well, let, let's think here for a second. What actually needs steel? What's the first thing that needs steel? Engines, right? For, for blue science. So, this just needs iron and copper. And I'm not sure how these iron are actually going to go. I was going to have them run alongside the circuits, like up here or something. Um... And then this obviously needs iron and copper. So we could do, if I can manage to get the iron in over here, we could actually do uh, red and green science sooner, like here, and then do like engines or something here. And this would just, I don't know, somehow loop back or something. It's uh, it's a little bit wonky. Like I'm not, I'm not sold on this idea yet. Like, it really wouldn't be that difficult to just cut this into sections. And then if we cut it into sections of four, we could then just use, like, a four-lane balancer and have the four lanes, uh, you know, merge down into one. Because this output's a full belt. So, you know, obviously we need to, if we cut it in fours, we need to then all combine it into one belt. Because we're going to have four belts that are only a quarter full. Uh, the thing is, though, with how I'm thinking of doing red and blues, and I can't think of a better way to do red and blues, honestly, because they both need circuits, right? So, like, and then the blues need red circuits. So, like, I mean, I could put red and blues, like, up here, but that's going to require me to run, like, all of the green belts up when it would be, I think, a lot better to just run the green belt. Like, because most of these are going to be for blue circuits, right? So... I think it'd be better to run these directly, but, you know, so I could do blues here and reds up here, but if reds are here, then I'm going to have to run the reds back down across the bus to go into blues, which doesn't make sense. So the only thing that makes sense to me is to do them both, like, right in here. And that alone is going to push things out to, like, here-ish, probably. So, I mean, we're, we're almost just going to have to start, like, here with our bus. And then hopefully have room. Even if we have room, the other thing that kind of gets me is there's just going to be this like big gap here, which is not something I'm really fond of. The idea of that. Hmm. I'm not sure, guys. I think I'm going to have to hear your thoughts before I make a final decision on this. Uh, but I did want to show you the circuits and also. I do want to go back to base. We need more landfill anyway, and I want to check on... We were having some power problems on the last stream, actually. Sorry, bots. I'm running away. Can't do anything. I'm actually curious. What is our... Uh, our game updates are low, because nothing's on at the moment. Well, something should be on, but some, some things better be on. <laughs> we better be making modules. But, uh... 
Yeah, the modules were kind of slow. We were actually really low on blue circuits in the base, which uh, is kind of concerning. It was it's just it's just due to not enough green circuits, which wasn't even like the green circuit build was still working fully. It was just I mean that build never actually worked completely. Um, so I'm thinking, and we also need to really expand our power. Like we obviously don't have enough power to turn this on. We need to expand it all the way like above and then probably even farther out. Uh, so that should help quite a bit. I need to bump up the amount of reactors we're keeping such, which is the other reason I want to go back to the base. Uh, and this is backed up, which would lead me to believe something is broken elsewhere. We don't have enough red circuits, which is interesting because uh, we don't have enough something plastic. Yeah, we don't have enough plastic. And we don't have enough plastic because we just don't have enough oil. It's 500 in this tank, dude. How is it? I think I need a pump there or something. These fluid mechanics. I'm telling you. Like, if there's 500 in the tank, dude, I'd like it to be in the pipe. <laughs> Uh, but it also looks like it may be time to do a little bit of beacon work on these pump jacks. Because even with a pump, that's obviously a short of shortage of oil here. So I should pump all that out. Get, see, like that instantly turned on like two more. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's go get some beacons. We have modules. We just don't have any beacons on us. Luckily, there's some right up at this train here. I mean, we did get quite a few more modules, which is fantastic. Like 15 beacons should be good. That's power. Power's good, again, because not as much stuff is on. Uh, we did have, when we had the power problems, it's because we launched like rockets, so all the rocket stuff was on. Uh, but yeah, so, wow, that train. <laughs> oh, it's kind of close to getting me. Um, pretty much, I'm not gonna worry about like, you know, how many beacons are hitting each thing? Usually with uh, pump jacks, that's not really a thing you worry about, at least not for me. Mostly it's just how many beacons can I possibly cram in here? I think I could, can I get one in here? No, not even with that, not even if that power pole weren't there. Uh, this should help quite significantly. I can actually get more on the outsides too. Seriously, game? Pump jacks are going nuts now, man. We need to, uh... We need to get more power pulls. Am I, aren't I requesting this? I guess I wasn't in the network long enough. I mean, because obviously the network's here. Thank you. Uh, our mining productivity should be helping a fair bit with that oil. It is an option to put productivity modules in the pump jacks if we're beaconing them this hard. I suppose. I mean, that productivity is doing work, like. That really didn't even help. <laughs> These things are uh, a little bit nuts on their power consumption. Um, it doesn't do as much as I hoped. There should be enough modules to get us a ways. Uh, the steel build obviously uses a ridiculous amount of modules. So that could be a problem. Is there anywhere we can import oil from to supplement this? Down here looks to be about the only option. Which is kind of unfortunate. Man, you know what I need? Uh, we need the, uh, it would be cool to get that what was it? Vehicle Wagons mod, I think it was, we had incident support us to space. Because uh, then we can, like, carry our tank on the train. And this also. This is going to eat red circuits like nothing else. 
But uh, it's actually that's actually supplied by a different build. And I'm now curious as to. Oh. I'd limited both apparently. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and up that. This actually stopped. 15, let's say 50. This is going to chew through resources, but that's fine. Okay. We shouldn't be having a lube issue anymore. We were actually backed up on heavy, which was giving us a plastic issue on this build as well, because we didn't have enough petroleum. I think I'd fix that last stream. Uh, we can check and see if that's actually taken effect decently. Uh, it looks like we are fine on that. That's backed up, and we still have 11k lube here. Uh, most of, I mean, the bus part is going to use a lot of belts, but there are a lot of belts used in what we did with the uh, circuits. So I'm running down here uh, because we need to get landfill. And I'd set up a little landfill operation over here. Which isn't like super fast, but it, uh, this whole time it's been working, so it's actually filled up these chests now. I don't need like a ton a ton. I mean, we just need to landfill. If we decide to go this long, we just need to landfill this bit pretty much. That's why the vehicle wagon mod would be nice because we could just fill like a whole car or tank with a uh, landfill and then, you know, just throw it on the train and we're off. Okay, so man, I'm trying to think here, guys. I, uh, I don't know. I, f I mean, I really am tempted cut this and I want to do force because three I mean three can work the balancing isn't as clean it's just gonna be so tall because we need we need eight of these of these long ones so if we were to cut that in four that's four times that, that means we would need 24 tall I mean that's like huge that's like most of this I mean Hmm. I'm really tempted to just stick with the long thing. I mean, we may just have to loop some belts back or something. Or just start the bus late, I suppose. It's really a toss-up. So are belts doing okay? I mean, we have five. I set that to make 1.5k. And I think I was requesting like 500. So I would hope this is at least filled the train, if nothing else. Almost. It's not going as quick as I'd like. Reds are backed up on this build, which is fine because I believe that's what feeds these reactors. It is. So this is chewing through steel as well, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, this guy, I mean, this guy's going. You know, it's not too bad. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. We're at 23 minutes. I want to show you the circuits, get some stuff laid down, and kind of let you know, let you know what's going on here. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts, as always, in regards to this stuff. Uh, you guys usually have ideas I haven't thought of. Uh, as long as it does not include me, like, ripping up stuff I've already built. Aside from it. the steel one doesn't count. But, because <laughs> I'm not moving any of this stuff. I've made that very clear in my streams, and I'm making it clear here. I'm not touching this stuff I already built. Uh, so, as long as it doesn't involve that, um, I'm fairly open. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, leave your thoughts below, and uh, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.